Hello! Today I am here with the second part in my decluttering video series here and I thought that I was going to take highlighters, blushes and contour things in one video but then I pulled out like all my highlighters and I don't know if that video is going to be too long <laughs> so we will see. I will start with my blushes so these are all my blushes, so I think we just go through them. So we can start with these two blushes from Sleek. This is Pix Pixie Pink. This is a super bright pink. I like never use this and I don't really know why looks like this so it's a really nice blush but like these strong pinks isn't my favorite but i think i will try to use it so i will keep this the other one is a darker and this is un flushed it looks like i don't know how to put it it looks uh, there you are it's a really dark blush I like this super bad swatches. I like this one as well. And so I'm going to keep this as well. I thought it was going to be shimmery, but it's a matte blush. So I will try to use this one more as well. So I'm going to keep this as well. Then I have four from the balm. And we can start with this one. This is like one of my absolute favorite blushes ever. This is down down boy and it is so so nice this is a really nice everyday blush this is pretty similar to the one to this one but this is such a nice light blush that suits my skin perfectly and it's so easy to build up and i just love it so i am of course keeping this because i this is the blush I use the most, I think, so yes, it will stay. I don't think I will declare so many blushes. Then we can take this one. This is Hot Mama. This is a super light blush. It looks like this. Oh, it didn't look so light in the camera. I love this one as well. This got a little gold shimmer to it. Can you even see anything? I hate that I don't have autofocus on my camera. It looks like this. I really love this one as well. So but this is also a keeper. Then I have these two instains and this one I was not planning to buy. I got the wrong shade first. So I got this one when I ordered this one. So they sent me the right one and let me keep both. Uh, so this is a really, really pink blush and I am a little bit afraid of these in stains because they are so pigmented. Do you see this? I think I've used this once and this is so freaking pink. Maybe I don't need to keep the one from Sleek now when I'm swatching this. These are pretty similar. So I'm going to declare this one. Pixie Pink from Sleek because I think I will rather keep this in stain because that is a newer one so yeah I will declare this and um, the other one is this one. Oh, this was lace and this is pinstripe and this is a super dark blush I don't know if I ever going to be able to use this do you see this this one I am so afraid of <laughs> but I will I will keep it in my collection so I will keep them that one as well then we can take my baked blush I got three of them so first up we have this from Kix this is in Fashionista it looks like this I think this is a really nice blush this is really really shimmery as you can see and it looks like that so this is a really nice shimmer blush i really really like this one 
I have to swatch this one. This is Milani's Bella Bellini. I think that these two can be pretty similar. Maybe Bella Bellini is a little bit more gold. Okay, these two are pretty similar. This is the Bella Bellini, so it's more gold. I don't know if you can see shit. So this is the Bella Bellini. It's so much more gold than this. So I will keep them both, I think. And the last one is from Revolution. And this is in Bang Bang, You're Dead. And this is so... This is pretty purple and pretty shimmery. So I think I have to keep on to that as well. So <laughs> keeping these three as well. And then I have this. This is a loose loose this is powder blush that i got in a glossy box i am not going to keep this this is from nika k i have never used it i think i will never do i just kept it because i watched the video and somebody said that this was such a nice blush but it's just like what the hell is this i'm never going to use it and i have never used it so i am decluttering this then I have four blushes from Makeup Store. We can start with this one. This is Sugar Muffin. It looks like this. I really love Makeup Store's blushes. I don't know how much you can see, but it looks like this. And I, I think this is a nice blush. So I'm going to keep it as well. And these are also from Makeup Store. I declared, I de not declare, I depot this because, um, yeah, I just did. So I think this is must have. And this is such a nice blush. looks like this it feels like I have like the same colors on every blush and then this one this is seashell and this is one of my favorite blushes it's so dark this is pretty similar to pinstripe isn't it pinstripe is a lot more purple and um, so I give that one as well and this last one is sugar pink and this is a shimmery one looks like that so I'm going to keep these free as well I didn't know I was this weak to blushes but apparently I am and then I have this from so Susan this I got in a glossy box and I tried to declare this once and then I used it and I was like this is a super nice blush so I kept it and how many times do you think I've used it after that yeah you're right none I think I'm going to declare this but this is such a nice this is such a nice shimmer but I think this looks like doesn't it look like the blush from Kix Okay, so now I swatched these three blushes and this one. And now, this is more silvery undertone. So I think I will keep that, that one that one as well. This is going really good. I have declared two blushes. And then the last two blushes is in here. It's from Nabla and I am going to keep this one. Because these are also two of my absolute favorite blushes and I can swatch them for you as well. So this is Nectarine. It's really nice light blush. A little peachy. I don't have so many peach blushes as you've seen. And the other one is Kendra and this is also one of my all time favorite blushes. They seem so weak. These swatches, maybe I can swatch them on my arm instead. So this is Nectarine. And this is Kendra. 
you don't see them much. The one thing I really love about these is that they are not so pigmented, so you can build them up. It's not like the instain from the balm. These are really nice everyday blushes. So I'm going to keep these two as well, as you may have guessed. Okay, so I thought we can stay with the Nabla for a while and go with my contour shades. And I think I got all my contour stuff here. So we can contour and highlight we can take now. We can go from contour to highlight. So we can start with this one from Nabla. This is Gotham. And I really like this one. I can swatch this one as well. I got so much stains on my fingers. This is a really good contour shade for us pale people. I don't even know if you can see this. Um, I love this as a contour. So I'm keeping that one as well. And then I have this one from NYX. This is their blush in taupe. And this was such a cold favorite a couple of years ago for pale people that was trying to find a contour shade. And I have used this quite a lot as you can see and it is really nice but I don't use it that often anymore. But still it doesn't take up so much space in my collection so I think I will hold on to this and then I have this one this is from Makeup Geek it's a love triangle and I think I'm going to keep this one as well this is a bit warmer so it's like three super different contour shades here all of these work for me so I'm going to keep all of them and then I have this palette from NYX I almost only use this shade I love this shade. This is like the super perfect contour shade for me. It looks like that. Now I start to wonder, I maybe shouldn't keep on to this from Makeup Geek because this is super, super warm. But I think I keep on to it and see how much I will use it. So I also keeping this one. And now I thought we can go into the highlighters and take these highlighters. And then into the other things and I don't think I'm going to declutter so much of my highlighters because I love my highlighters so this one I'm going to keep this whole palette even though I don't only use this one or the most uh, but I'm going to keep this palette because I like it and for Nabla as you know this is one of my absolute all-time favorite highlighters this is baby glow and I love this one. This is such a nice highlighter. This is perfect for like every occasion. I really love it so much. And then I have Angel, I think this is, also from Nabla. I don't use this as much because I think I like war more warm highlighters. It looks like that and I am going to hang on to that one as well. So all of these Nabla things are staying. And then we can take this little highlighter that is a little bit abused. This is from H&M. 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 And this highlighter is freaking insane. I don't think they still have it. Uh, it is such a nice highlighter. I really hope you can see it. It's so creamy and it's so freaking nice and H&M should really hang on to this. Uh, it's long gone though, but it's, I love it as you can see, so I would definitely hang on to this. Okay, so now I think we go into my highlighter palettes. I have a few as you can see and we can start with... <laughs> I'm not sitting comfortable. We can start with my two glow kits from ABH. This is the Aurora one, this I bought first and I don't use it that much, but I still think I will keep this one. It's not as intimidating and it's as it looks, 
but I will hang on to this. I don't use it that often, but I hope I will do it so soon, so I I will keep it. And then we have Moonshild. First I was like, why did I buy the Moonshild when I don't like the Aurora? But this one, this one is amazing. I really love this one. And this shade, Pink Heart, this is also one of my favorite highlighters. Can you see this? Can you see this? And I also love Lucky Clover. This is a green one. I have never been into this like swatch porn. Um, so yeah, I'm totally going to keep this one. I wish that Anastasia would sell this pink card as a single because then you should buy it, <laughs> but they don't. So, and I think that this is discontinued. I bought mine on sale. So glad that I bought it. And then I have the Kat Von D and I usually don't talk about Kat Von D on my channel. I will have a video up on that. I don't think it's up yet, but I will. And this is the Ult Ultimist palette. This is like an illuminating palette, but also as a topper. I don't use it much at all. Um, and I don't know why, because it is really good. I can swatch the whole thing for you. It is so, so nice. So I will keep this and I love the packaging as you may have noticed I love triangle shapes love it love it love it and I love that it's a little bit holographic so yeah I will keep this and I will try to use it more then I also have the Kristen Leanne and this one I can only use <laughs> mirror is so dirty I can only use this middle shade but this shade is I love this. It is so so nice. Urban Decay should do this as a single because it is such a nice highlighter. I don't know what it's called. I don't think it says. No. Really glad I bought this. Totally worth this shade. I bought this on sale as well. Then I have the sleek one and I I don't use this as much as I did before but this is like nostalgia for me and this is was this was one of the first highlighter palette this was the first highlight palette I bought and this palette is insane for the price it is like the best highlighter you can spend your money on um I don't use it but I can't get rid of this because it has a special place in my heart and in my makeup collection, so I will keep this one. I should declutter it, but I can't. And last highlight palette is this one. I know a lot of people hate this. I love this. I love this shade. Do we have any fingers left? I love this shade so, so much. It's that one. I can't use all of the shades, but... This is really, really good. I don't know if this is still available or if they did redo this or something, but if you can get a hold of this, buy it because it is a really good highlighting palette. Okay, so we can take two loose highlighters now in the middle of... before we go on. And this is the Wet n Wild Moon Tears. I love this so much. I have one more yard. <laughs> I know I'm going to run out of this, but I have one more yard. I love this one. This is so, so good. I don't know why Wet n Wild only had this as a limited edition. This looks so freaking good. I'm going to keep on. I'm going to have this. And then I have this one. This is from a Swedish brand called Gloss Gods. I like this one. But it is such an... I love how this looks, but this packaging is a disaster. And this is more like a topper. And this is a green one, and I love this. I hate the packaging because I have highlighter everywhere. But I'm also going to 
keep this little baby. And now uh, it's green highlighter specks everywhere. Okay, and then now it's so dirty on the table. Okay, we can go into my liquid highlighters and this is also like a cream highlighter. So we can start with We can start with the, this little cream one and it is like the other one. Packaging is super cool and it works better here because it is a cream and this one I don't really know how to use it. I don't know if I should maybe use my fingers, but this is such a nice highlighter. I really like this one. Mostly because I think the packaging is so cool. Just a little ball. Awesome. And then for my liquid highlighters, I have this from Sleek. I think I have never used it. I have it like in... I have had it like for three years, so I am going to declare this because I am never going to use this I think because I I haven't and I think I will never will so I'm going to declare this yay is it the first highlight we declare I think so then I have this liquid illuminator from NYX I have loved this so so much I don't think it's so much left and this is so freaking old so I'm going to declare this one as well. And then I have one of my favorites. This is the Hello Halo from Wet n Wild. I love this. This one is so freaking nice. I'm going to hang on to this for sure. And then I have this one from Lumina. It's the Nordic Light Instant Illuminizer. I think I will use this now in the summer when I just want some glow, so I'm going to keep that, this one as well. And then I got this holographic, holographic drops from H&M and I think they're old because these look so strange. I have never used this, but it looks... I don't... I think this is supposed to be liquid. It is not, and I have only have it standing on my table. But it is like a thick mousse in here. I can at least swatch it. It looks super cool, but I don't think I will put this creamy, moussey drops on my face. So I am going to declare this one. A little shame because I thought this was... It looked pretty cool as you can see, but I don't want to use this on my face. And I don't know even how to pick the product up. So <laughs> holographic drops from H&M. It's bye for you. Never used you except for this, but you have to go. Okay, so now we can go into my Colourpop lighters and now it's just like in makeup collection, but I'm going to keep all of these three. So this is Flexitarian. This is like the most popular shade of them all. But I really like this one. This is Lunch Money. And it looks like this. I really, really like it. I like Flexitarian as well. And also this Hippo. This is a really nice, like, purple highlighter. So I'm going to keep all of these three. And I'm also going to keep this one. This is a stick highlighter from Nabla. I love this one. And I hope I can swatch it for you. This got a pink shift to it. I don't know if you can see it. But I'm going to keep all of these four highlighters. Okay, so I think we maybe can take in 
the last highlighters in one group as well. So these are the ones I have left to talk about. I am not only going to keep them. So okay, we can start with this Jeffree Star. This was Jeffree Star and many MUAs collab Eclipse and I the first time I really liked it but oh it's so freaking big and this is so bad pigmented do you see I know that a lot of people complain about this getting hard pan and yes I can dig my way into it and then I got a lot of like I can't do it like that and this is like the biggest highlighter ever it's 15 grams it's like the biggest powder product I have I love the aesthetic of this I love the black packaging and I love the holographic thing and I love the star and the moon but I think I actually going to declare this. I don't use it and it is hard pan on it and I don't use it because it's such a struggle to get into it. So I actually think I will declare this one. Then we have another controversial brand and this is Kat Von D and this is Thunderstruck. Everybody raved about this as being a super good highlighter and it is really nice but I I said I don't use Kat Von D that much and I have used this a couple of times but I think I still will keep it. And then I also have Mary Luminizer and this is like a cult, cult favorite and this was one of the first and mine is so cracked. This was one of the first highlighters I bought like this expensive highlighters and I don't really know but everybody sees in this one if I'm going to be honest it is good but it's not that good when it first came out it was like the only highlighter that was like this but now there is so many highlighters in the makeup world and I don't think this is so special anymore so I don't know if I'm maybe going to declare this because I am also afraid that the whole product is going to fall out but as you see I have a dent in it so yeah I think actually I'm going to declare this because I like never use it then we can take this one this is UA and this is Citrine I like this one I was a little bit afraid that this was going to be too dark for me but it's not I think it's pretty similar to a Mary Luminizer, I can swatch them side by side. Yeah, they are pretty similar. So this is Citrine and this is Mary Luminizer. So I think I would keep the Citrine one and not the Mary Luminizer. Then I have one highlight from Ofra and this is Glaze Donut and this highlighter is insane. This is one of the lightest highlights I have. It's almost white and it's so pigmented and I am definitely keeping this one. I really love it and I really love the Ofra's old packaging if you compare it to the new one. I think this was much cooler and not as bulky as the new one is so I think Ofra should go back to this one but yeah. I'm keeping this glazed donut because it looks amazing. And now I only have two left, so we can start with this NYX Dual Chrome. This is in Twilight Tint, and this is a blue one. I love this one. This is such a good highlighter. I don't know if they still have this one, I'm not sure, but as you see, this is amazing pigmentation and such a cool color. So i going to keep this one as well. I don't use it that often because I think I like more warm highlighters than cold tone. But I'm going to keep this one. 
And the last one is my Pixie by Petra. This is in Subtle Sunrise. And if you saw my, I think it was my whole video, this shade Fallout. Because this was cracked when I got it. So I pressed it in and I love this. This one is a little bit too dark for me. I can swatch both of them. But this is such a good highlighter. So this one is the one that is too dark for me as you can see so I don't use it but the other one oh, it looks amazing and these are so freaking good maybe Mary Luminizer is pretty similar to the pixie one yeah pretty similar so this is the Mary Lou and this is the pixie one but I am of course keeping this pixie one so, okay, for these highlighters and blush, I am getting rid of seven of them. So, getting rid of two blushes, these two, and three liquid highlighters, these three, and these two highlighters. And that was all my highlighter, blushes, and bronzers. No, contour things. And, yeah. It wasn't so much I get rid of in this either, but I I like the things that I have. So, yeah, I really hope you like this. Second part of my decluttering, I don't know what we should take next. I thought I was going to do eyeshadow palettes, but I don't know how many eyeshadow palettes I will declutter. Because I like all the ones that I have. But I think we maybe could take other eye things at least like mascaras and stuff like that if you want to see that and we can go through my palettes if you want to and also I want to go through like lip products so this was my second part it has to be so I really hope you like this one and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I will see you in the next video bye